What's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be decluttering and organizing my master closet it was definitely time to go through everything especially since we are entering into the fall season so i'm basically going to share with you guys the entire process as to how i get my closet organized maximize any small space and also i'm going to be sharing a super affordable storage solution which i am partnering with lifewit on today's video so i'm super excited about that i am in love with these storage solutions Solutions. They fit perfectly right underneath the bed. So I will talk a little bit more about that later. But right now I'm starting the process of just removing everything from the closet. I really have been thinking that I wanted to switch things around, which is one of the things I really enjoy about these type of closet systems. Years ago, I shared with you guys how I transformed our closet. So I will have that linked up in the cards for you guys. It's definitely a good one. The before is crazy, a complete transformation. But I definitely wanted to get rid of of these smaller shelves and really just allow myself to hang more of my clothes rather than fold them so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and let's get this process started I wasn't quite sure exactly how I wanted to rearrange the closet, but I knew I wanted a long bar all the way up at the top. It then would allow any of the longer dresses, coats, and all of that kind of stuff to be placed up a little bit higher. And then I did also want another shorter shelf at the bottom to just give us some more room. So in the beginning, I had a little bit of trouble just trying to find the right pieces. But then because I did the same exact thing in Riley's closet, I was able to find some extra pieces over there that we're able to work in our closet as well sure so cold but we're always coming back for more egos in this wicked game it's all for sure oh i've got you Now that we got the whole closet system figured out, the next thing I wanted to do was to remove everything down at the bottom before I started adding any clothes onto the bar just because it's so much easier to be able to vacuum clean down there without having to worry about any clothes. And boy, was it so dusty. I can't even believe how much dust and dirt had just piled up over the months. So it was definitely a good idea to get back there and give it a good vacuum. I 
I started by hanging all of Nick's clothes up at the top and I figured my clothes would be at the bottom and then over on the left hand side would be anything that just was a lot longer like our coats, jackets, dresses and all that kind of stuff. This is where the real work begins. I put all of Nick's stuff in the closet and this is all my stuff. I have way too many clothes, especially now that I have been working from home for the past year and a half. A lot of the stuff I haven't even really been able to wear just because they were clothes that are particularly for the office. And I don't really need to dress up like that while I'm at home, but I'm just going through everything and seeing what I still like how like trying to remember how I felt when I would throw on these clothes because sometimes we tend to hold on to stuff that like it doesn't necessarily make us feel the best but we feel like oh if I drop a couple of pounds I'm gonna fit into this it's gonna look good but at the end of the day you need to dress your body for the way it is right now embrace it love it and that's that so I'm going through everything and just purging as much as possible I want to start rebuilding my entire wardrobe and starting with basics and all of that kind of stuff so I'm trying to get rid of any like trendier items things that might be out of style stuff that I don't think I'm going to wear when I do go back into the office or when I go back to church and all of that stuff I was able to give a good amount of clothes away another large black bag full of stuff so I feel like like by now after going through all of Riley's stuff my stuff and then also some stuff that I got from my grandma we have probably about like three or four big bags so it's definitely time to go to the Goodwill and give these clothes away If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. My name is Nia and I'm a wife and working mom trying to balance it all. My channel is dedicated to inspiring and motivating everyday busy moms by sharing cleaning, organization, and homemaking videos to help you find balance and make life easier. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you and also make sure to introduce yourself in the comments so I can personally say hi. Myself to love Yeah, I just wanna lose my breath Yeah, I just wanna lose my breath Yeah, I just wanna lose my breath Look at you Yeah, I just wanna 
because I removed the shelves from the closet, I now had to hang my jeans. So I used this hack that I had seen maybe on Pinterest or TikTok or something like that, where you basically just slide your jeans through, but then you actually put the hook part through the back um, belt loop of your pants. I'll show you guys a close up of it in just a second. Do you agree? This is not the way it is supposed to feel. Oh, and now I can see, I can see. There are different paths laid out for you and me. Cause baby, I'm a true believer. And I wanna stay true to my faith. And I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. All right, so this. Oh, so this is the huge pile of stuff of clothes that I am going to be giving away. I have some sneakers, jeans, dresses, tops, you name it. Um, most of this stuff I just don't like the way it fits me anymore. It's stuff that I've been holding on to for a while, and I think it's time to just fully purge it and let it go. So I'm actually going to be adding all of this stuff to the large bags of clothes that I have from Riley's closet clean out. So if you guys missed that, I will leave that linked up in the cards for you guys. But yeah, um, a whole bunch of stuff that is going to go over to the Goodwill. Now underneath the bed, we do have some more clothes which is basically our fall clothes and i am going to go through all of that because i did actually get some new storage containers that i'm really excited to use so i will show you guys that whole process as well these bins were so packed to the point where i could barely even get them or pull them from out underneath the bed. As you guys can see, the zippers had broke and it was just a hot mess and I knew I needed to get some new ones. So I am actually partnering with LifeWit on today's video. They sent me over some of their storage bins and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. I really think that you guys are going to enjoy them. So the first thing I need to do is basically just now start to purge anything that were in these bins, doing the same exact thing I did with the closet.
here is a close-up of the storage bags that LifeWood sent over. They are sustainable for all closets. They are easy to carry, reinforced handle, which I will show you guys a little bit later on in the video. I really do enjoy that about their product. They were super easy to unfold and easy to kind of get everything going and I was able to fit so much clothes in these. I like the fact that they are a little bit on the narrower side so it allowed me to fit way more underneath our bed rather than the larger ones that I had picked up from Ikea. They do also have an insert that you want to put at the bottom and it's really just going to help give it that entire frame. Guys, I cannot even tell you how many good things that I love about this product. It's durable, super easy to work with, and I also love the fact that it has a clear top, so it allows you to see what you actually stored inside of each of the bins. That was one of the struggles that I had with the IKEA bins where I didn't know what was in there, and you guys saw me struggling trying to pull it out from underneath the bed. So to find a solution that is so much easier to work with, and really going to fit my lifestyle is fantastic. They are offering all of my subscribers 15% off using my coupon code Nia Nicole, and it's good until the end of December. So if you guys have any decluttering, purging, stuff you need to store, then you guys are absolutely going to love this. They do come in two different um, sizes, so you can get an order of three smaller storage bins or two of these long slim ones that you see me working with right now super affordable under $29 and I'm all for affordable these days I'm also going to share with you guys and show you what these smaller ones looked like they do still have a clear plastic part so you can see what you stored in them definitely recommend them so I will have everything linked down below for you guys To think about all the ways I'm making you smile. I know I am what you need, and boy, you're just my type. Deep down, I know you want it. You wanna take a leap and jump in. Uh oh, uh oh. We're gonna fall in love. You get me spinning, wouldn't it be awesome? If you just kiss me slowly and hand me in your arms. Oh, you make me. Because I'm taking the time to go through all of my clothes and see what items need to be purged, when it does get colder and it's time to actually switch these clothes out, it's going to make the entire process so much easier.
So what I really love about these is the fact that it, they have poles on every side of the bin. So you have them on the side, you also have them in the front, so depending on how you wanna store them. But my absolute favorite thing about this is the clear top so it allows you to be able to see exactly what is in here so i think the next time i might actually like start to categorize stuff where it's like these are all of my like coats or these are all of my dresses and and things like that because this really does allow you to do all of that and then be able to see what's inside and then i do also like the soft bins and you can still see what's inside on the side um but yeah i do like these soft bins i have i think two more right over there and then i have one more of these bins so i'm gonna probably look around think about what else i can store with them as well because these are really they seem like really durable and i think i can definitely I think they will definitely last for a really long time. So the ultimate test is to see if these will fit underneath the bed. For more cleaning and organizational videos, I have all of my playlists linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys right back here in a couple days with another video. Bye!